Power up. Yo ho ho sha. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I'm back with another Shripham story time with One Piece set to Paramount War. I, I think it's called Paramount War. But um, if you're new here and you want to see more of these stories and shrippums, you know, go ahead and smush that subscription button. And if you're back for the continuation of the story, this is part three of my Japan adventure. So I think where I left off was kind of meeting people and, and giving people cards and connecting with people. And it was really, really fun. I mean, you know, I, it was really fun, like walking up to kids that like clearly were into One Piece and like they were kind of like looking at me like, well, it's just like, what's going on with this pirate guy? You know, he's got the hat and he's like laughing at everything. And, um, you know, and then I walk over and be like, hey, do you like Zaiho? Oh, this our boy. Uh, you know, you like Zaiho? Zaiho means treasure in Japanese. So, oh, I got a bless my pack also, of course. Let's see what's in here though. Yeah, zoom out. All right, bless him, bless him. Sorry, getting ahead of myself. Pack him, bless him. Um, I'd ask them if they like treasure and you know, they would say yes and then I'd give them a card and I usually for the kids the cards I would program my YouTube channel on there so they could you know come check out my shrippums um, And the kids were so stoked, you know, they love they love one piece They love the characters and it was kind of fun to just be like this large pirate that was walking around and just giving out treasure to kids and people and there was one time when I was walking through Shibuya crossing and there were these girls that were like doing some sort of like dance routine video in these like anime outfits and i was just like all right i'm just gonna like walk by and catch these girls like on my camera behind me because i love this place and i just want to talk about how much i love it and like as i was walking through the crossing and just talking about how much i love tokyo one of the girls like ran up into my video and started like waving and being like hi and i was like oh 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 wait 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 wait! i have this thing for you i have this treasure in my bag and then there were oh garp this is the first garp that i've pulled nice i did pick a couple of these up but that makes my play set i think Yata. yes thank you so much wow that is a nice looking cardo Wow, very cool. I think I might actually just like jump into another box because I haven't pulled any SRs and this could be an alt art in here, but I'm just gonna like wait like an alt art leader. So let's just like go into another box. Jumping ahead in time because that's pretty early to pull this. So let's just like keep shripping me because it's fun to shrip them. And I have so much story to tell. So anyway, um, yeah, so uh, I, one night I, I, met, I met this guy, his name is uh, well, one of my friends, DJ Fura, Fura uh, was playing at this bar called Mezzo, and she invited me out, and I went out to the bar. And when I went there, I met this guy, and his name was DJ Oh My Marshmallow. And this dude looked like he walked straight off of a boat in One Piece. I mean, he, like, totally had pirate vibe. He's very animated, like... He's a DJ, he's got like really cool style. And he like gave me this present moments after meeting him. He was like, I love your style and I have a present for you. And I was like, oh, thank you. And and he, he took a marshmallow out of his pocket and gave me a marshmallow. And I was like, wow, this guy's really got it together. You know, he's got the entire act. This is, this is amazing. So we became really good friends and he hooked me up with, a, you know, a gig to play and bless him from this box. Um, and yeah, so I, uh, I was at, oh, here's the Shanks Dome. Shanks Dome. Nice. Um, I was at this one bar playing some music, and um, as I was there playing, or, you know, I had a I had a meeting right before, actually. It was a very important meeting that I was kind of stressed about the timing of things, but I managed to make it to the bar like 10 minutes before myself. It was just a couple of friends hanging out playing music, so I was just one of the people playing music with them. But when I got there, there was this person that like gave me this bag and was like, oh, hey, this is for you. And I was like, oh, I looked like this kind of. I was like, oh, thank you. This is so nice. Like, do I know you? And they're like, yeah, actually, uh, I'm the person from your YouTube that's been like commenting. And, you know, you said like to link up. And I was like, oh, sick. Like, thanks for coming out. It was so crazy. I couldn't imagine that like somebody that watched my videos was in Tokyo and wanted to come out to like listen to me play music. That was like very far out to me so and they brought me some gifts and it was really nice i had to catch the last train so i couldn't stay like too long into my set but um i sent them a message later and was like yo like thank you so much for coming and bringing me stuff and coming to meet me that was really cool of you like we should you know if you if you have the time maybe we can like grab a meal and like catch up and get to know each other a little bit so 
she worked in the area where I was staying, which is Akihabara, which, um, you know, she made a recommendation of the place we could go eat. So we linked up and we're just like talking. And it was really cool to like meet somebody who's actually from Hawaii and then moved to Japan and is Japanese. And there's, you know, I have this connection with Hawaii because I've been going there for a long time and I'm friends with Tony who's from Hawaii. So I'm definitely connected to that place spiritually and emotionally as well. So it's cool to connect with somebody around all that stuff. And she recommended some shops for me to go check out um, that had like One Piece cards and stuff. So, because I'd gone to some shops in Akihabara, I hadn't really been to any in any other areas, but apparently in Shibuya, there were a couple shops that she thought were good. And one of them was called Tier One Gaming. So I went to go check out Tier One Gaming and uh, it was a really cool shop. They really had like in terms of like the prices the prices on the cards were like way better than other cards They just were like really 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 good prices and they were doing it. Oh, I love this card This one's so good. There's gonna be an alt art in this box because we just got four so no secret in this box <laughs> um, So I was walking around and I heard uh, they were doing a one piece demo and I walked over to this table and there were these two girls that were learning from this guy and I was sitting there and I was watching them uh, do the tutorial and I kind of watched them a little bit of miss sequencing maybe and so I took a uh, I had a Luffy leader and a Kaido leader and they were playing Luffy versus Kaido and I like took the leaders out and I like put them on their leaders and I was like, power bull. <laughs> and then like, I kind of showed them what a uh, better sequencing would be to optimize for Luffy deck because I love Luffy. And the Kaido player had a, had a pretty good situation but if the Luffy player just played a certain way they would have won the game. So anyway, I did that. I got to meet the shop owner and I asked the shop owner, I was like, hey, like I'd really love to play in the locals if you guys have like, you know, a tournament, weekly tournament or something, I would love to come play in it. Is there any chance that I could do something like that? And he was like, you know, before you leave, we don't have anything that's gonna happen before you leave. But if you wanna come tomorrow, like I'd love to play with you tomorrow. So, wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Secret with three SRs. Huh, haven't seen that before. It's kind of weird. I'm just gonna open these packs anyway because that's so strange. I have not seen that. Yeah, all the ratios in this are not quite as consistent. I think there's something going on with like the rares when you get alt rares and different number of SRs or something. I don't know what exactly is going on, but yeah, so he invited me to come ba back the next day and play, and um, I'll continue my story about what happened with that with the next box. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the strip of my dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be um, make sure that you also floss your friend's teeth if they forget to floss. If they fall asleep, sometimes your friend's asleep and they forgot to floss. You know, do them a favor, get in there and floss them. No, you don't have to do that. I have been known to do that, but you don't have to do that. And sometimes you can actually hurt people when you do that. So you got to proceed with caution, but just remind your friends to floss. It's a good idea. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time.